In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of the advanced filter feature, which is here on the data ribbon under sort and filter. I'm using Excel 2016, although it will look the same in older versions of Excel. Now what advanced filters are going to allow us to do is filter on multiple columns with uh, OR conditions and using wildcard characters. Whether your data is an Excel table or an Excel range, you can always use this filter button at the toggle on or off. And it allows us to filter on individual columns, like here's all my Austin people. And then I can go with an annual salary that's number filter greater than 85,000. So very often it's uh, just as easy to use this filter, but there's a few things I can do with advanced that I can't do with just these filter buttons. So let me clear those. Now the advanced filtering requires a certain setup. It wants a criteria range. And what the criteria range is, is basically a list of uh, the column headings. And we're going to put our filtering criteria underneath those that list of column headings. So I need to set that up. It has to be someplace located physically on this sheet. And very often what I will do is just select a few rows, run to home, insert sheet rows, and I'll put my criteria range at the top of the data. So now I will grab those column headings, hit Control C for copy on my keyboard and Control V for paste. And now I have my criteria range. Now you will place our criteria underneath this criteria, um, these headings. Make sure you have one blank row in between your criteria and your actual data. In this case, I have four, but once I start putting in criteria, it'll get reduced down to two blank rows. Now, in our example, I want to, uh, we'll, we'll repeat the one we just did, where I want to see Austin people greater than 85,000. But first, let's just say I want to see everybody greater than 85,000. So what I do is put that criteria in the annual salary column of my criteria range, okay, greater than 85,000. Select a single cell in your data, and then when I run to the data advanced uh, button, it will automatically guess the range of data that uh, my list range, A6 to M106. And at the top, we have two option buttons. We're going to filter the list in place, or we can copy our results to a new location. So the first time out, let's just filter it in place. The next thing it asks is, what is your criteria range? Well, it's right here. That's what we just established. And so make sure you grab your column headings and your greater your criteria, in this case, greater than 85,000. You could just grab that single uh, column and criteria right there, and it would run just fine. A lot of times I'll grab the whole thing because later we're going to be putting criteria in different columns, and this A1 to M2 will, will um, stay there. So that's it. Filter in place. Here is my data range. This is my criteria, and I hit OK. Now there is my... Um, all my employees with a salary greater than 85,000. Now what if I decided, oops, I actually meant greater than or equal to 85,000. Well, I can change my criteria. I can run up here and add an equal sign, but the list does not automatically update. You physically got to rerun the advanced filter. Now fortunately, all of the uh, choices stay in the dialog boxes. So all I have to do is uh, hit advanced filter and then hit OK again. And now my people with 85,000 a year salary will pop in. So let's change the scenario. I only want to see people from Austin. So under location, I literally just have to type the word Austin, and that's it. I get, again, the filter list doesn't update, so I have to hit advanced. Double check that your list range is correct. A6 to M106 is good. Our criteria range, as long as it has Austin in it, and it does, we can hit OK. And now my list is filtered to show only um, people from Austin. And by the way, I can tell it's filtered. In one way, all of the row numbers turn blue. That lets me know that um, things are, are filtered. If you want to clear your filter, you just, like the, with the regular filter button, I can run up here and hit clear. And it'll put the list back in its original um, form. Now, let's finally find our people from Austin with an annual salary greater than 85000 If you put criteria on the same row, for instance, Austin and 
greater than 85,000, that is an and condition, meaning both of these conditions need to be true before a record will get returned. In a minute, I'll show you how to do an or condition, in which case we put a criteria on one row, and on the row below that, we can put another criteria, and then it would be either this is true or the other criteria is true. But right now, we're saying both of these have to be true. So let's run our advanced filter. I'll hit the advanced button. Again, everything's filled out, 86 to 106, and our criteria range is A1 to M102. So we'll hit OK, and now, we have Austin people, Austin employees with a salary greater than 85000 uh, One more scenario. Let's say we want um, Austin employees with an annual salary between greater than 85000 but let's say less than 125 Okay, so we won't get the, the 200 the 150 and the 130 So we want greater than 85 but less than 125 Well, how am I going to do that? If I have one column, but I want basically two criteria in that one column, I'll have to copy that. So what I'll do is I'll go Control Copy, and I'll stick it over here. And I want this to be greater than 85, and then in this case, less than 125,000. So the trick is putting that column twice because I want basically a between criteria. And it's still an and. I want Austin but I want people with the salary that are between those two values. So let's go run our advanced filter, but we gotta be a little careful this time because our list range is okay. Our criteria range, I need to extend it to column N. So rather than select through it, I think I'll just select the M and switch it to an N. So now I have uh, my criteria range all the way out to column N, but only to row two. So when I hit okay, now I'm getting people from Austin still, but it's you've got to be greater than 85 and less than 125, so we lost those people that are at 150 and 130. Now let's demonstrate uh, filtering our list using an OR criteria. So in this case, I want to see employees from Austin or New Orleans. So I will clear out these two uh, criteria. In fact, I'll just clear out my whole filter by hitting the clear button. An OR criteria is uh, you place your information on uh, two different rows, okay? So in this case, because I have Austin here and New Orleans there, I'm going to get people from Austin or New Orleans. Either one has to be true in order to return these records. So I'll hit Advanced, and again, i got to be careful in that my criteria range is now changing and that it doesn't end at row 2. It ends at row 3. So now I'll select through here. I won't grab that extra annual salary. Oh, I did it again. I was on list range. So let me delete that. Re-up my list. Now I'll go to the criteria range and select through the three rows this time. And uh, just to demonstrate the copy to another location, I'll go ahead and choose that, copy to another location, because that brings up a third uh, box here that I need to say, well, where do I want to copy to? And so maybe I will move our new list over here in the, into S1. Now when I hit OK, it's going to grab the data that meets our criteria and move it over to S1. Uh, it might overwrite this data, but that's OK. So here I hit the OK button, and it did overwrite it. So these are all of our employees who uh, are from Austin or New Orleans. So that demonstrated how to do both an OR condition and copy to a new location. Now I'm going to clean this up and we'll do a couple more on the OR scenario. I'll select all that data and I'm just going to hit clear all. Moving back, what if I wanted all of the employees from Austin and New Orleans who have more than 10 years of service? Okay, so Austin or New Orleans, and they have to have more than 10 years of service. So I will put greater than 10, but you have to be careful. Recognize this is Austin greater than 10 or anybody from New Orleans. So if I want the New Orleans employees also to be greater than 10, then I have to put under years of service greater than 10 on both rows. 
So now I will get all employees from these two cities and they all will have uh, years of service greater than 10. So again, under data advanced, I have my list range, double checking my criteria range. I think I'm good with that. I hit, this time I'm gonna filter the list in place. Uh, hit okay. And now we have our Austin and New Orleans employees with more than 10 years of service. The last thing I'll demonstrate using an advanced filter is when searching for text, uh, you do have some wildcard characters I can use. Now, for instance, on last name, if I want to just find anybody who starts with the, with the letter J, all I have to do is put a J under my criteria, and then I'll hit advanced. And be careful here, if you've been messing around with OR criteria, notice this is A1 to N3. What happens is if I were to run this and my third row is blank, it returns everything. Because basically what I'm saying is give me anybody who starts with J or no criteria, which then returns everybody. So be careful, look at your criteria range. And in this case, I want to go back to just two rows. A1 to M2, so I'll hit OK. And now I'm finding anybody who begins with the letter J. What if I want to find anybody who ends with S-O-N in their name? Well, now I can use an asterisk or an asterisk, and I'll type S-O-N. Now, asterisk means any group of characters can be in front of that. So now when I hit advanced, uh, make, double check my criteria, I'm good. And now I'm hitting all of the people with S-O-N at the end of their name. If I were to change this, and you can use a question mark as a single position wild card. So if anybody has any other character, S-I-N, S-A-N, whatever, uh, anything in front of it, but I don't care what the second position is. So now let's run our advanced filter. And all of a sudden I pick up DeSandro here because S-A-N meets that criteria. I have something in front of it. I don't care what the what's in between the S and the N. So the last things I'll mention on advanced filter, a couple warnings. Uh, make sure that the column headings in your criteria range exactly match the spelling of the column headings in your data range. A lot of times I've seen people, they'll type these up here, and if you mistype something, then it doesn't recognize that these are the same column and uh, you you won't get the results you're expecting. Even if you type it right, sometimes somebody has accidentally put birth date with a space down here and you don't recognize that. And when you type birth date up here without a space, it views it as two different columns and whatever criteria you put here won't apply to this column because the spelling's different. The other issue I've seen is somebody's accidentally put a space um, in a cell and not known it's there. And so then you're trying to run your criteria and it's always looking for something with the space. You can't find it. You get no results back. And you just don't recognize that there's something in a cell that it's trying to match on and it can't do the match. So uh, you got to keep things really clean. That's why I copy paste the column headings from here into your criteria range. That way, no matter how they're spelled down here, they'll always be spelled the same up there. And make sure that your criteria range has no hidden characters in it before you start filtering your data. So that's it for Advanced Filter. Thanks for watching.